My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a pretty special 71 Super B right here. This is a genuine Super B factory four speed Dana 60 rear end with 390 gears, power steering, power disc brakes, factory Hemi orange car. It was a 383, it's now upgraded to a 446 pack and it has vintage air. So we're talking about a Super B 446 pack air conditioned four speed Posi car. Now I gotta tell you a quick story. I drove this car home, I had the air on, it was ice cold. I get it home, that night we had to run some errands. My wife says, hell no, I'm not getting in an old car when it's this hot out. I said, come on, we're going. Got her in the car, that air was blowing ice cold. So I got to drive an old car, she stayed cool, life is all good. You can go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures of this car. And that's where you find prices on all 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you will be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. Uh, real quick here, this car is in the Super B registry. Uh, the trim tag has been decoded. It was born uh, with the 383, four speed, Super B, uh, Hemi orange color, uh, as the build date of the car and some other miscellaneous here. This here got, came with the car. It says one of 12 Hemi orange four speeds built. I honestly don't know where they got that from. It could be true. I don't know. But anyway, underneath this car, the metal is immaculate. The metal looks like a chalkboard, just smooth and clean, and it's claimed to be all original metal, uncut, floors, body panels, everything. And for my inspection, I agree with that. So like I said, the frame rails, the inner rockers, the lower quarters, all super dry, clean metal with a nice satin black finish. The front end looks brand new. Every component, the control arms and bushings and shocks and steering components, all looks brand new. Uh, it has the 833 four-speed transmission. In back, like I said, it's a Dana 60 with 390 Posi gears, and all the components are clean and painted and looks nice and fresh. You look up at the motor, it does have an oversized anodized oil pan that's uh, actually brand new. We just put that on there. Uh, the brake system's been redone. Uh, E-brake cables are hooked up. Uh, yep, it is disc brakes in front, like I said earlier. The exhaust system, really nice, fat. I didn't measure it, but it looks like a three inch exhaust system. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. It's installed very nicely as Flowmaster mufflers. The rear suspension's redone as well, it has Coney gas shocks, and it also has some tubular traction bars back there. Uh, the gas tank is either new or it's painted silver, but that looks really nice too. So underneath this car, excuse me, I'd call it show quality. It's not a trailer queen, uh, you know, take it to a national event type show quality, but it's really nice under there. The body. Like I said, uncut original metal, original quarter panels. This big trunk lid is straight, perfectly square, fits beautifully. Looking down these big wide panels, absolutely straight. There's no bubbles or blisters. It's all smooth. The door gap is right on the money. This gap is right on, all smooth. The hood sticks up a touch in the back. Oh, a little push, now it's flush. Big long hood and fenders, straight and shiny. Everything I'm seeing here is absolutely straight. I don't see a ripple. This side's just as nice. And uh, it is a factory Hemi orange car. It's been painted. It has a smooth, glossy finish. Feels smooth to the touch even. It uh, does have the 
decals on it. This might be painted. I'm not sure if that's a decal or paint, but anyway, it's all redone. All this striping all around here, down the side, all redone. Has the chrome racing mirrors, the correct antenna, hood pins, uh, Goodyear reproduction polyglass tires, rally wheels look like they're new, windshield's been replaced, it's crystal clear, the moldings are real nice and shiny, a couple dimples right in here, rear spoiler, this car's just got so much going on. The rear window has some water spots on the glass. Rear bumper is nice and shiny. The tail panel is really good. It's got some scuffs, almost like uh, there's no damage, but make that mint, maybe a fresh coat of uh, silver on there and make it mint. I also forgot to mention the uh, correct Mopar exhaust tips. I think they call them the machine gun barrel uh, exhaust tips. Door jams painted real slick. Bottom of the door edge is really nice and clean. Weather strips were replaced. That's the hinge popping. Sill plates new. Carpet looks new. Has Super B floor mats. Headliner has been replaced. It has wrinkles in it. Those take a little work. Or you have to know what you're doing to put a headliner in the right way. It does have some wrinkles. There's a new headliner in the package. We'll throw that in with it. Uh, it is a bench seat. Uh, it's supposed to have an armrest in the middle. The armrest is missing. Uh, it looks fine without it. It's not obvious, but it is missing. It has a front spoiler. The grill, everything up here is real nice. The bumper's re-chromed. There's a new Super B emblem. It has six-pack emblems on the, the hood there. Wood pins look like they're new. And give me a second. There we go. We found it. Ta-da. Strong running motor. It's rebuilt. The dash pad is replaced. I always check to see if it's a plastic cap that someone glued over the old one. This is an actual dash pad. It looks mint. The AC controls are neatly installed under the dash. It's got a pistol grip Hurst 4 speed. It has a tough grip steering wheel. Now inside the trunk, all these Mopars have new trunk pans. They all rusted out. Not this one. I lifted this mat and there's not a seam. Uh, I mean, it's a perfectly clean trunk pad. You can see the factory spot welds, the drain plugs are in place, quarters don't have cuts or splices. Does have a reproduction mat, seat divider, and a weather strip. Door panel is in excellent shape, both sides. The rear seat and front seat are reupholstered. The cushion grip wheel is real nice. It has rally gauges too. It has tachometer gauges, Nothing is cut or broken. Has the original AM radio in there. It all looks good. I'm trying to remember where you turn the AC on. It must work off the uh, factory controls there. The air conditioning, like I said, was added. So we got a 440 motor. You got uh, headers, Edelbrock intake with the six pack carbs, uh, power brake. System looks new. It's got a big battery with a disconnect, new cables. It has an overflow bottle for the radiator. The radiator looks extra fat. It has dual electric fans. Alternator looks new. Uh, looks like a billet distributor with all new wires. Mopar Performance valve covers. It has the horns, has the washer bottle. Wiper motor looks new. The engine bay is painted real nicely. Does have the fender tag over there. So you got a nice car here. Seat belts in front look like they're new. I don't see the back ones unless they're under the back seat. And both hinges uh, make that popping sound. So yeah, you got a car with a lot of options here. The list just goes on and on. The colors, the four speed, the air, the six pack, the gauges, the steering wheel, the pistol grip, the spoilers, the wheels, the reproduction tires, original metal. It's a good one here. 
So there you have it. That's my impression of this car, and it's a good one. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to talk to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.